What's up buds, it's Fly High FPV, and I've got some new firmware to try for the Hoda F6. This one enables one button charging, and I'm really stoked. So I'm gonna show you how to do a firmware update on a Hoda charger. All the Hoda chargers are pretty much the same in their update process. Uh, I've got the F6 here, I've got a couple F6 Pluses, uh, the D6 Pro and the T6, they all work just about the same. Uh, the one tricky thing on the F6 and the F6 Plus is that you do have two boards in here. And so there's a USB port 1 and a USB port 2. And you'll do the firmware update over here and then you'll do it again over here. So you're going to do the firmware update twice. Uh, to get it started, all you need to do is plug in the USB cable. This is micro USB. It's the old school. And then uh, I'm not gonna plug in the power just yet, but that'll be coming next. Uh, next thing you wanna do is go to my website. And from there, it's flyhighfpv.com. From there, you're gonna wanna go to lipos and chargers and, and chargers. And then here is the F6. Uh, scroll down just a little bit. And there I'm talking about continuous charging mode. Here's a tutorial on how to upgrade to continuous charging mode. And then here's the link we're looking for. It says grab the firmware to upgrade here. That's going to take you out to my Google Drive. And I've got several firmwares listed here. The first that everybody's going to need is the HT Loader. This is what's going to actually do the firmware updates for you. And then I've got uh, one button charging for the F6 Plus. I've got one button charging for the F6. Here's an older F6 firmware that doesn't have one button charging, but it does have continuous. And then there's D6 Pro that also has continuous. Uh, for this, I'm going to do the latest firmware for the F6, which is one key charging. Uh, download that and download the HT loader and then pop open your HT loader. It looks just like this. Uh, first thing you want to do is open up your firmware file. I'm going to select the F6 one key button charging. And I'm going to put my mouse right here on the update button. So I'm ready to push it. Uh, now back to the charger. As soon as I plug in, because the USB is already in, it's going to go into bootloader mode. And you'll know it's in bootloader mode because it's going to make an awful beeping sound. And it only beeped for about five seconds. So you got like a five second window to jump over there and hit the update button before it stops and goes into regular boot mode. So here it goes. I'm going to plug it in. You'll hear the beeps. It's beeping. We're gonna run over here and hit update, click, and now it is updating. It's pretty quick too. This does not take very long. Uh, the only thing to remember is that you got to do it twice. You're gonna do a firmware update and then you're gonna start it over and do it again on the second board. So first side is successful. We're coming back over here. All is well. I'm gonna unplug the power. Unplug the USB. Plug the USB into port 2. Can I do it with one hand? Yeah, I'm on a roll today, boys. And then I'm going to plug in here. It's in the bootloader mode, and very quickly I'm going to hit update. Boom! It's going, updating. And now we're getting side 2 updated. This is nice and quick and easy. I love it. Can't wait, gonna have all four lanes pushing and one button. All right, success. We're good to go here. Let me unplug this and uh, let me get four batteries. I'll be right back. Okay, now we've got four batteries plugged in. One, two, three, four. They all need a little top off from their use. Uh, first thing I like to do is check the settings. We're gonna long press and we're gonna go to parameters, system parameters. We're going to scroll down and check continuous mode on and one button start is on. So it did enable it by default. That means that whatever settings I've got on here, they are now enabled for this charger. So here we go. One button. We're going to start it. Fires up one. coming they're gonna all fire up I wonder if they did it differently on this one that's not it okay so I think that even though it was on we we're gonna turn it off I 
and then we're going to turn it on again and we're going to try and see if that gets it this is experimental firmware y'all uh so let's see one button okay now we're getting there one's on two's on three's on four's on all the batteries are charging so this is obviously only going to work great if you're charging all of the same types of batteries but you know me i have like 20 of these batteries and i charge them all on the same settings and when we're in the field we're just slamming packs one after another take one out stick another one in and keep going uh this just facilitates ease of use so i can push the button one time and they'll all fire up i love it um to turn it off uh, if you long press, you'll always stop the charger, uh, but to turn off it so that you can change your settings again, because if I just push the button, it's going to start again. So we're going to long press to turn it off. And then we can go in here to the parameters. Turn off one button start. And then when you go back, now the charger will behave like normal again where you turn it on and start go to the next one turn it on and start and long press turn it off but i like it i am definitely turning that mode back on because that's all i do is jam one pack after another after another and i love it what it's doing the delay at the beginning is it's checking each cell and making sure that it qualifies to be charged and then turning it on. So it'll kind of like pause and then fire up the next one and pause. I love it. Thank you, Hoda. Uh, really appreciate you continuing to give us more for the things that we already bought, supporting us and stuff that works great already and making it better and listening to the community. Uh, I am taking suggestions too. So if you have suggestions, I want to hear them, guys. Uh, the last thing that's been requested is a full discharge mode that brings the battery to zero volts. I'm going to ask them if they'll do that for us as well. Uh, any other suggestions? Give them to me, though. Plug them in. Tell me what would make this charger even better. And I will uh, take it to Hoda and see if they'll do a little firmware upgrades for us. I love it. I really, really appreciate seeing this kind of involvement with the community, people listening and making changes and actually delivering on what they ask us to, or what we ask them to do instead of uh, just making promises and not getting there. Uh, Hoda has been a fantastic partner to work with, so really, really proud to see that they keep, keep doing more good shit. Uh, oh, one last thing I wanted to check. It didn't reset my counter this time. Ha ha ha. Still got 1,750 charges. <laughs> uh, love it. Keep on charging, Hoda. Thank you.